All right, I think this is working now. It's just, hello, everybody out on, in the world on Twitch and to my coach to move this here, which is lovely. Uh, welcome to Coffee Break again. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with the intro thing. I think I'm just flustered with my weird Twitter conversation of the Impogas. <laughs> God damn it. It's incredible how uh, an asymmetrical uh, social media platform can just fuck you up. Uh, hey, Hard Cell. Uh, we're playing, we were playing some lo-fi, which is why it sounds like we're revving up a truck. <laughs> anyway. Eh. Whew. Welcome to Coffee Break. I'm Ren, master's student in English. Uh, yeah. I'm joined today by... Um, Diego. Diego. Um, Let me get your voice up. You're very quiet. Oh. There we go. That should be helpful. Um, I'm Diego. Uh, I'm an undergrad student in industrial engineering. Um, maybe I'll just say my Twitter bio and that'll suffice to introduce me. Yeah, go for oh. it. <laughs> just just uh, do, a, do a reading of your Twitter bio. I'm focused on organizational systems, productivity, the division of labor, and work cultures and manufacturing. So, yeah. Hell yeah. I am so excited to have you on. Actually, I think, I, I don't want to say this for sure, but you may be the first undergrad we've had on one of the streams ever. I'm so honored. <laughs> well, it's, you know, uh, it's an arbitrary distinction, really. <laughs> <laughs> what are what all I've decided to do is have more pain in, a, in the academy with my life. That's that's the difference. <laughs> so before we get started, um, I want to read our land acknowledgement that we do before every stream. Um, we acknowledge that in Milwaukee, we live and work on traditional Potawatomi, Ho Chunk, and Menominee homelands across, along the southwest shores of Michigami, part of North America's largest system of freshwater lakes, where the Milwaukee, Menominee, and Kinnikinick rivers meet, and the people of Wisconsin, so Sovereign, Ashinaabe, Ho Chunk, Menominee, Oneida, and Mohican nations remain present. I almost got through it without fucking it up for once. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. It's, I'm never good at that. Um, and today we're going to be playing Tacoma. Um, which is a game I know nothing about, but Diego knows um, things about. <laughs> I know some things about this game. Um, I watched some walkthroughs. It's, um, as I mentioned, I am very fascinated with labor, um, mm -hmm. from an engineering perspective and obviously kind of now through this anthropological perspective as well. The game is interesting because it's kind of an investigation on why, uh, their kind of spaceship or whatever uh, had this issue, but it focuses a lot on kind of the attitudes and kind of conversations that the workers have all leading up to the problem. Mm. So it kind of is a very interesting way to um, observe workers in a workplace in a way through a video game. Okay. Okay. I see. So it's, it's, it's labor centric, which is why we were excited to, uh, full disclosure, I suppose, uh, I asked Diego what Diego wanted to play because I, I never know what to do for coffee breaks. Uh, <laughs> so this is just, I was like, okay, Tacoma, sure. And I think Epic had it on for free a couple months back, so I just happened to have it in my library. Um, start with commentary. Oh, cool. So they have like a developer commentary baked in too. That's nice. Oh, also, I should mention before we get started that I was going through the language settings and um, so I've turned on subtitles, but I noticed that the game has English language, but then it has a separate one uh, for in-world overlay. Um, and it has several options for that. Uh, disabled, non-native language only, and all enabled. And I don't really know what that means, but what I think it might mean is that if I've set the all, enable thing, all enabled thing, then we'll see like several different languages in the workplace. And I'm kind of thrilled about what that experience will be like, you know? Mm hmm Because, like, I'm so down to play a game that actually imposes a language barrier upon me. Um, that sounds amazing. So uh, I, I, wanna, I don't know if you know what it does, but I want to try it. No, I've been trying to think to the walkthroughs that I've seen, and none of them described that that's even a thing that you can choose to do. <laughs> oh, my God. I even mentioned it. I have well, I have to know. So let's let's see what happens. Um, I've started the game. And tell me if you can't see it or for whatever reason, or, or if chat has, you know, any comments. Obviously, we'll, we're I have chat open. So uh, 
Happy with that. Loading screen is a moon. Okay. It's a space. It is space. Um, these are the people who did. God, what game was it? I saw the other game, Gone Home. Right? These are the Gone Home people. Uh, I'm not too sure, actually. I think they might be, but I'm not. I'm also not sure. I know they have a new game coming out with Annapura Interactive. So you know, I don't. It's a road trip, apparently. Sounds fun. I like road trip games. I played Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> All right. I hope my computer didn't just die. Oh, well, okay. All right. Hi. It's space. Space is dark. <laughs> it is space, but it did just pop in. Okay. Why can I can't hear the game? Oh, that's because I, I can't turn the game either. audio on. I'm a dumbass. Hold on. Give me a sec. <laughs> I turned it off for the fucking uh, for the intro and I forgot to turn it back on. Now. All right, there we go. Mini ship AI. OK, so mini is I guess mini is the ship. AI. That's cool. Oh, yeah. AI is also very central to this. OK, um, it's set in the future. Um, well, I kind of figured. Yeah, the space it, thing. Um, it's interesting because this AI essentially is kind of monitoring everything. So you're responding as an investigator to this event, nice. but you That's have nice. full, in a sense, you have a full recording of everything that was going on the ship and you just have to work through it. And it's because of this AI, all this technology that they've recorded all these conversations and activities that everyone has done. Okay. Okay. I like the, the, um, book tablet control console. That's very interesting. Um, I, I was like, why is this thing so big? When I first saw it, I was like, it's a huge, it's Where like I someone, I think you just have it. I think I just, yeah, I probably just black hold it. Okay. Nelson's. Oh yeah. I did notice there's a lot of you being able to just pick objects up. Um, but I wasn't, I don't, I haven't seen many of the objects be used for anything other than just to, uh, kind of have some atmosphere in the game. Gotcha. Well, uh, also cool to see that plywood made its way into space. I guess that just means I can pick up whatever the nearest object is and throw it at things. I, I should say, like, I know this game is supposed to be somewhat like, I'm probably not supposed to just be doofing around, but I promise you that I will do a lot of doofing around. Um, just because that's how I am. I love these alien style doors. <laughs> Big ass retro future Ready? doors. It's in. great. Let's do it. Back. Don't let anybody scan the ship while I'm gone. Okay. Oh, so mini sounds like Tattletale. I don't know if you're familiar with that uh, horror I, game. I'm not. It's a horror game about um, a set of demonic uh, Furbies. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I can see that. This cute little AI, but it's actually don't get water on it or it will destroy the universe. A hardware? Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, so this is where we start to see the overlay. You're going to it's very interesting the way that they kind of have you navigate space and time in this game, which is really fun. Um I think to just kind of think about how they do that. I am the Illuminati in the transfer station. <laughs> yeah, so this is the big, this is the big, uh, the big AI. Gotcha. To welcome you, guests, aboard. Before I can set up your. I like the um kind of. Must I love the the in world excuse to have an overlay. That's very nice. Um. Please place your hand on the AR figure's palm. So we're we're gonna go all like we're going all out here as far as like t uh, talking about um. AR, VR, everything else. Or AR and AI, I should say. Wow. Yeah. It's doing it all. We're doing it all. I'm down. Okay. So I guess this is like a calibration test. Yeah, it's calibration. Yeah. Garrett's full care. It's, it's, it's very interesting that I mean that they decided to put this in here, right? They could have mm -hmm. just been like, oh, you put these things on and then, then you can see the overlay. There's something about the process, right, that they've included, which oh, yeah. I think is really interesting about this game, too, is that there's something about process that's also kind of um, important here. 
Well, yeah, and then they're giving me like a a um, informational bit about how the facility works, which to a, like this is a video game thing, right? Like I know that now I'm going to use the the UI to interact with people's data. Like that's okay, yeah, that's every game ever. But here it is, you know, put into the world building as like a critical thing. So. You know, they're really building up the, uh, you're a worker here, you have to have, like, we're going to bring you in as if you are a worker here, you know? Right. Oh, my God. Speaking of which, <laughs> for sure. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Okay, that instead of hand gestures to uh, to spell While things is Gome fascinating. Station, remember that all yeah, I find it really interesting. By AR That's, it's interesting all to imagine such a system existing at some point. The Venturus Corporation. Any questions about privacy or personal privacy? He learned wingdings, I see. <laughs> the little scooter is pretty cool too. Okay. Okay. Alright. Oh, and I can just go back whenever. Alright. Well I didn't mean to, but I guess we can ride this out. Zip. Clearly, the suit I'm wearing is integrated with the environment as well, seeing as uh, the little light on my wrist turns green whenever. Um, well, maybe that's an AR HUD thing. I don't know. Okay, well, we gotta go back now. We can't just leave. We're like, okay. I mean, it looks bad, so I guess something bad <laughs> happened. That's my analysis of the situation. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, streamed having to watch me do this little weird <laughs> scooter three times, but I didn't. I didn't think it would let me leave. It's got some. We could just say some. We could just say like the word recursion here, and then it'll be uh, <laughs> meaningful. Yes. Okay. So moving around is kind of bizarre. I move in the direction that my camera points, um, and also it looks like the space station is rotating. So that's fun. Well, that's access denied. Um, so we can't go there. Uh, so do we just wander around this spinning station and try to oh, basketball? Is there a place for me to- Yeah! Eh. Not quite the same game when, uh, your, uh, your hoop is rotating above your head, is it? Yeah, this is great. The fact that I can grab a bunch of random junk is absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, I- from what I understand, you have to take the thing that you collected, which is, like, the little book data thing, mm -hmm. and move it places. Hmm, I see. Okay. You have to like upload this data somewhere. I, I know that, that that's the thing that you have to do. All right. Okay. Also, it looks like my employer is tracking my progress. Okay. Yes, that's kind of, it's very like, very big brother. Yeah. So I have to very much do whatever the corporation wants me to do or else who knows? I mean, there's not really, like, there's no stakes yet, but that doesn't mean there won't be stakes. Okay. So. Huh. All right. Good to know. So these are the folks we're talking to, we're going to be finding out about, I guess. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Personnel and observation. The dome. You're all... Whole, Okay, these signs are amazing. Oh wow, look at that! You get close enough to them, and they uh, they they um. Yeah, yeah, it. I really like that. What a nice choice. It makes the, uh, yeah, it's very nice to to see that. I thought that was a really nice touch because, like, it's just hard to see text sometimes on things. I think. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I love these, like, I have it turned up really high quality, but, like, if I didn't have this on, like, the highest quality and they have all these handwritten fonts, it might be harder for, for me to read. Okay. Oh. Crew data. Innocent. Okay. So, you really miss it, huh? Well, it just seems like it'd be strange being back on Earth already. So this is kind of where your investigation starts now, really? is you're watching... To hear from you about the this replay the of the activities kind of leading yeah, up to the accident they had. That. I see. And then there's this. Yeah, I, I'll miss it. <laughs> I can't blame you. So, whether you're getting renewed or not, did you submit your yearly crew member report? 
No. Oh, wow, you really weren't kidding. <laughs> They're <laughs> just going to be talking that. about you know, I think I might go procedural things about okay. being yeah. in this uh, company. Too. Right. Oh, my God, wait. Is today obsolescence day? And it's like you follow them, and so what's interesting now is that no. as you follow them, I like the way that the game oh, makes you realize that there's things to do. So like, now you have to like follow them into this enclosure, right? Is usually like how you would want to go about it. But now you can hold space and restart this, this. Uh, oh wow! They just this whole conversation. And what's so interesting yeah. is that you can start this now from another point in the ship, and so. Typically, what you're doing is you're Today you're watching them talk, but you're also watching a network of people talk from different locations. Yeah, I love also that their AR outlines become really like fuzzy as the um, as like micro movements are like as it visualizes the little tiny movements that they're making. You know? Right. Yeah. Oh man. So it's all about like it's all about understanding this space as a kind of combination of the. Um, a combination of the conversations and, and activities that have happened here. Right. So for me, that's kind of what I'm working on is understanding in um, a workplace, an organization, what are all the things that actually contribute to um, the success of an organization mm. and specifically burnout in an organization? So what are all the things that are factoring into that and thinking about it in for me kind of as setting up a framework for this it's like seeing this game is like, oh, it'd be like impossible to do all the things that I would like to do without being able to observe everyone at every moment <laughs> and know all their conversations, right? So how can we maybe predict the attitudes and beliefs of people without having all this information, which this game is like, oh, it's really easy to figure something out if you just record everything about everyone right, while they're yeah. doing it. Well, you know, it's also a logistical nightmare, right? Like, as a player, what I need to do is uh, is parse what information is useful to me on some level, right? Um, but I'm being bombarded by a lot of information all the time. What the fuck is going on? What do you guys want? Uh, companies remotely disabled the station's AI directly affect operations. Okay, it's cool. So, if the if the um, AI went wonky, then and that's the problem, then he's not going to be a problem for me. Fantastic. Oh, ooh, pretty. Look at that. That's a nice touch. Place feels really lived in for that sort of stuff. Uh, what? Okay. Oh, so this is the... You're saying I have to take this device around. Yeah. Zero percent personnel, point one percent personnel. So this, I guess, is... It takes a while, which is... Uh, this is literally my favorite. I think one of my favorite things about this game is that... It's like, oh, this is kind of real in a sense. Like, it really makes you think about your time. Because mm -hmm. right? you're kind of playing with time within this game because you're rewinding, doing all this stuff. While also this thing is downloading or uploading data or whatever. And it's going to take a while. So you have to go do all these things and while this other task is happening in the background. Right. So it is it's it is kind of a... I, I don't want to say it's like a deep time relationship, but it is, it is something akin to like having to wait for paint to dry and watching how a system changes when you're waiting for paint to dry. Okay, so this is the planned obsolescence party stuff. I think we'll go over here because it looks like this is where the obsolescence day party was happening. This seems like a good place to pick up. Uh death sentence okay well that's not good i can't believe it well you told me to get renewed oh yeah, we got two I conversations mean, going on simultaneously yeah so this is when you start to realize special. in this specific room that you would kind of have to listen to a conversation yeah. and then rewind and then go to the other conversation because mm -hmm. you're, you're like start to see how people come in and out of the room and then however you're like oh i'm kind of interested in what that conversation was and you go follow it yeah and you always like end up starting at the same time and then ending at the same time but in just different places which i think is really interesting but this is when you really get a sense for oh in an organization you have lots of people who are talking about work in different ways or maybe they're not talking about work but they're talking in the workplace um and these conversations and these relationships that they have within this organization like really say something about 
Um, maybe oh, the propensity to leave the organization. There's romantic going on. The yeah, I think there's paradise. two uh, romances going on in this in this game, if I remember correctly. Fantastic. We have the, we have the gays, everyone. The gays have been achieved in the workplace. In the workplace. In the workplace. We did it, Joe. <laughs> Cake, uh, the decor. We humans only did the grunt work in his grand plan. And so for your enjoyment tonight. Oh, oh. Whoa, what the hell was that? Odin, what was that? So Odin Bring appears us. here? Like, I guess I everybody else has AR stuff too, so that's not too ridiculous. I'm a bit dead, but... Wait, I'm not... so there's no option. I'm not getting enough data what connection. We're reading right now? Correct. Additionally, how long does that give us? Jesus, how much? We should have about 48 hours of no, breathable air. Maybe more. Oh man. Okay, so I see what went wrong here. At least that's not a mystery for too long, you know? Guys. Right. Not be that easy. I suppose. I, I guess the game has done a really good job of guiding me then, because I haven't felt like I'm going in the correct direction. I've just felt like I'm going in a direction. And yet, I've are like clearly this is the second thing that you're supposed to see. Anybody got any brain? Right. Deal? Yeah. Yeah. So let's rewind this. I want to see what these other conversations were about. Um, Cause these guys were talking about like whether, like, Special about to come what's gonna happen question. next. Why did yeah. you think we were celebrating? Unprecedented. Maybe it was when some old. Oh, can I, can I come here? Yes, I'm in the freezer now. So the name. <laughs> Listen from the freezer. Joke. Yes. You could say it's facetious. Kai. Probably think I'm an idiot for never even thinking about why it's called that. Out of curiosity, why did you think we were celebrating? I thought maybe it was when some old type of AI you know, had become obsolete. But, well, I guess that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, um, AI aren't like designer hardware. As soon as the new model's out, you trade in the old one for customer loyalty. AI are more like. Um, oh, so hardware is also. Mighty okay. Redwoods. Recoverable data. Growing and adapting year on. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, cool. So when those little blips on the thing are, are places where I can recover personal data from them. Right, conversations and other such things that they've had. Yeah. Uh, again, so I mean, again, you have like all of these organizational communications uh, branching out all the time as well. So like trying to access all this data is also a matter of like not necessarily being able a designated one piece of cake per crew member. Each piece of cake should measure approximately 11.01 centimeters by 11.343. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I think they say something in this conversation about how, like, they're just, they're, like, they don't get to decide anything. They're merely the conveyors of instruction. Like, they're just the actants of the, the, the instructions. That's all they are. Right, yeah. Odin is planning everything, right? That is a fairly accurate representation of my instructions. See, he loves it. Thank you, Odin. That'll be all. Yeah, and then the application the of, of human well, emotion directly to the AI right there. Evie, we're about to cut the cake. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Oh no, it's oh no, it's that's their like visualization is. of like a phone piece. Masterpiece. That's fascinating. Sarah, come on up. It's ready. Gather round, gather round. Oh, and I just noticed that their uh, the temp symbols on their back are also the ones that will tell me which one I need to get the information from. That's mm -hmm. this is really good like UI design. I find it so like it's such an like interesting way of just conveying all these things, right? Like how else like you think about in a real organization, right? Not in this game, mm -hmm. how would you possibly know all these things that these people are feeling which they're communicating with the outside world, right? Only in this game because everything's being monitored by Odin or whatever. Right. Do you understand really the complexity of their lives? And right. like in my field in engineering, we tend to kind of uh, really collapse that. And we're just like, oh, no, you're just a worker in the workplace. And we're just going to design the workspace to make you efficient. And we kind of forget all this breath that we as humans have, even though we are humans creating these, these uh, systems. So like this game does a really good job of just showing like 
all these people are having a multitude of conversations and a, like a multitude of locations in the facility. And not only that, but they're, they have all this other communication with the outside world. Right. And all the stuff that they bring with them that shape their attitudes and beliefs about work. Right, we can visualize, we can like, we can take in, within the game space, you know, uh, because we can construct the entire fucking thing, a place to visualize all these kinds of communications and simulate them in a way that, that really you can't necessarily do in any other kind of context. Not like with the same level of like, I guess, freedom to just make dumb things happen. Damn it, there's gravity. Um... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, no, yeah, that makes perfect sense. I also, I love that their mugs are randomly square. That's, I'm sorry, my brain's going 50 miles an hour. Um, let's go this way. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Maybe I can oh. watch her put the passcode in. Yes. Yes. No. Yeah, it was just really fast. I think this, that's the one thing I don't like about this keypad is I think it goes really fast. Oh, I see. Okay. Kind of realistic, one, I guess. Two, one, two, one, two, two, eight. Okay. Well, since I can rewind pretty easily, it's not that bad. Um, I think that if, if there was any other amount of, uh, like if I couldn't- Like if you had to watch the whole thing from the beginning. Yeah. Overworld server works board, Bureau of Training, Survey Qualification. Cool, so she's kind of the big person in charge. Um, but yeah, no, absolutely. And like, I think like, actually, you know, like I said, I was having a Twitter conversation thread with Ian Bogost and he had kind of I don't I try not to get involved with talking to Ian Bogos just because things can be kind of how do I put it? Um I, I don't agree with Ian Bogos often. So like arguing with people on Twitter is not my favorite thing in the world. But he did tweet it out that like, oh maybe if we if we redesign library uh searching engines uh so that they don't look like workflow applications, maybe students will use more scholarly sources. And like, yeah, maybe, but also, um, people, there's a huge language barrier there, right? So like, creating some sort of uh, tutorials that would show students how to like actually use this stuff is, I think, really important. So I kind of threw that out, and he was like, uh, no, actually, I still don't understand how workflow applications work, right? Um, but like, there is no one solution. Like, you can't just you can't just make a a website that somehow magically fixes. All issues, of, all the issues, all, all of the, the issues. issues that a individual like a user is going to have and changing the UX design of a website isn't necessarily going to like it's going to change how people interact with the website. Sure, but it's not going to force them to like interact in the way you want alone, you know, right? Or it, it also isn't going to guarantee that people actually want to like someone who makes me laugh. Oh, hey, I can play pool with myself. I um, suppose there are some people that engage more freely with hey, hey, hey. uh but you know it's not gonna it's not gonna guarantee that students are like definitely thinking they're like oh yeah i'm definitely going to like start using this now you know um i don't know i'm kind of resistant to those kinds of single solutions single item solutions i was i was talking to my one of my professors last week and we were just talking about how people just forget how much your library has in terms of resources oh sure yeah yes like i think we are like it kind of has to even start there like you have to even know entities. what you can look for while you're there yeah which is like that's an organiz that's a larger organizational problem than just within the context of the ui or or just the library itself right that's kind of a within universities how do you even know that the thing you're looking for is something you can find there well yeah a lot of people believe that they can't find certain kinds okay, of research that doesn't exist um or that research can't be done that way and i think that's why like the sort of programs that we have in in you know the first year composition exists in some on some levels to teach students hey you can use this stuff but i mean i've never met a library tutorial that it wasn't needlessly difficult to find <laughs> you know right um but i think i'd like so i'm just bringing this up to rant about my conversation with uh, on twitter uh, Twitter.com, of course, but I'm also bringing it up because it is, I think, to assume that fixing the UI is enough to like get uh, to fix that kind of problem alone is a the same kind of flattening that you're talking about. It really takes the so it, like it, it presents all the agency to the computer and none to the human, you know? Right, right, and 
Yeah, and it, it kind of pretends that there is no other complexity other than just the right the worker in his workplace or right. in their workplace. Yeah. Um, I think. Oh. Well, who's this? I did not see this before. Oh, oh my that's God. the. Is that the big owner? wig? That's the. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna get fired right now. <laughs> so, well, to, to your point. No, you're like, I'm just trying to recreate the activities they would have done. Yes. Right, because you're investigating <laughs> this crew. So you're like, hmm, I'm just curious as to what this would feel like for them as they're experiencing it. Oh, hey, look. Surprisingly. I think that they would feel good pretty modeling. good when they do this. Yeah, absolutely. Well, no, it, it, again, it is funny, right? So this is, I can just walk right past that and I would never have noticed it. Yeah, this is, it's great that they have like completely, like they've really gone into detail. Re uh, recreating like uh, this whole thing. Okay, hey, look. So I think we figured out what that language setting is. Um, because this box doesn't say the river divides, right? I, I don't know what it oh, says. It's because the crew members are all from different places. Yes, yeah, so they yeah. would have brought different things with them. But this translates to the river divide, so now I can understand the game. Or what, the, what this actually says. So, yeah, I mean, man. So, I guess if you don't have that setting turned on, then the uh, then everything just appears in English. Or whatever, I guess whatever, uh, whatever. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Would you pick. Yeah, I don't know if it would just be that or if it just wouldn't translate it for you. Okay, the rest of this we've already you seen. You just have to make inferences. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, like... Yeah, you're I think I think the work I, I still feel like the work you're doing and the stuff you're pointing out is like super valuable. So um it's not even close to what the truck was. The joke was, I'm sorry, hard sell. I just saw that I don't know the joke that you were talking about in chat. I swear being doing streaming stuff is like this what the fuck? I love this. Oh I was God. cackling at this when I first saw it. It's a body <laughs> pillow. Hold on, wait. So the station's blowing up and you're looking at body pillows? I love that. That's amazing. It's kind of, it, it makes you think like, oh, like if, like if I just died right now, am I okay with whatever tabs I have open on my computer? I know, right? Computer? Yeah, well, I, I mean, hey, I'm not okay that I'm not buying a body pillow right now. That's for, sure. That's for <laughs> damn sure. Um, oh, man. Just the minutia of the directions that they receive, too. Like, oh, yeah. The... I'm not getting an actual Every character is, like, right immaculately uh, put together, and that's awesome. Um, Additionally. But, I mean, without that, it really wouldn't feel like there was actually people around. <laughs> like the building a space like this is, it requires so much care to like the minutia of uh, their day-to-day -day lives, you know? Right, right. Which again, we we, t we tend to ignore when I, some, like when we design systems, I think, in, mm -hmm. in some instances, because sometimes when we design things, it's ideal to just work with a simplified model of something. Right, yeah, because working with the full, well, I mean, this is something we do for research, right? Like, whenever anybody is researching anything, I'm like, make things specific, bound your ideas, and a lot of those boundaries we set up are ultimately quite arbitrary, but they're there so we don't, like, destroy our brains trying to, like, right, so we don't get like scope creep complexity and... of the issue, right? Yeah. But, like, when you're designing something that somebody's going to use, Especially when you're iterating on an existent, an existing design, like in some ways, it's very much a different beast. Um, in that, you know, a piece of research sits on a piece of paper in, in a in a library forever, right? Um, and maybe somebody reads it, maybe they don't. But um, a, you know, in a development environment, if you're or if you're building like a programming development environment or something, or a piece of technology somebody uses every day for their job, is probably going to see you know, most of the use cases that it has. Okay, here we go. Can I, wait, can I play the guitar? No, nah, I can just hold it. But I can listen to it. The way they visualize corruption is very interesting, too. Yeah, just the glitch, the... Mm -hmm. 
Well, I mean, I think this kind of comes back. That to and the text, show. like the text, also has like there's just yeah, there's a little ways that they do it that's kind of just. Well, the missing characters make perfect sense to me, right? Like, cause that's something that happens on H. Like, if you pull um, an HTML file and there's some sort of issue there or something like that. Uh, right. But like, the visual glitching is is a very different kind of maneuver. I like it a lot. But man. If that's all there is, my friends, then let's keep dancing. It's something similar to like in found footage where the goal is to like establish the aesthetic of the glitch, but not necessarily to make the glitch realistic in any meaningful way. If that's right. It just needs to convey that you can't you're not getting the same fidelity as you are elsewhere yeah. uh, on the information. So wait, hold on. Is one of the guitar strings still snapped? Oh, it totally is. That's fantastic. Um. Oh, and this person's like, nice. Wow. Yeah, the level of detail here is really fantastic. Um. I don't know how much we're coming up at at one thirty. Uh, actually, <laughs> somehow. Christ. I definitely don't want to put this game down though. Like it, it really. Whoa. What is this soap container? That's... That doesn't make any sense. No, but I like it. No, but I'm not crazy, right? Like, that's, that, would, that soap no, container it's... wouldn't work. <laughs> oh, it'd work. It'd just be really inconvenient. What would you have to do? Just, like, turn it upside down every time you want to use it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, my God. Somebody's reading a book about AIs here. Uh, the volume is, uh, is the suitable guide to repair and maintenance of most high-level, uh, high weak, and semi-conscious AIs. Uh, a simple indexing system allows for e uh, use even when AR is compromised or offline. Hmm. So I guess an academic press of some sort. I listen to music. I, I don't know what it'll play. Okay. So it's on. Oh, that's cool. It's just little um, whoops and blocks. It's a little relaxing <laughs> music for your toilet ventures. I don't know what else there is to do over here. Let's see how our, our um, we're 50% done. <laughs> God damn, you really weren't kidding. It is a, it's paint drying. It really is. So could you complete the game oh, without actually looking at any of the, um, at any of the stuff, you could just wait for those those uh, four or five uh, data transfers. I think to you have to. I, it makes it makes me feel like you have to, um, like get all the little conversations that they're having, mm -hmm. like the little, like when you go up to the person and there's like the 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 panel where you can see all the things that they're looking at or all that stuff. I think you have to maybe unlock all of those. Oh, hey, look at that. Is somebody uh, a union, uh, a union person? Somebody is, is somebody unionizing? Yes, oh. look at that. That's fantastic. 2087, that's what it is. I couldn't remember the year. Um, also, I love this. This seems like a needlessly futuristic uh, shape for tape to be wound. They're just like, yeah, we we said, why recreate the wheel when we can just make the wheel a triangle? Yes. Why would you ever want circular wheels? It's just, that's dumb. Dumb for asking. God, there's so much. So yeah, I mean, we're only in one section of the ship and there's like 15 different rooms to, for me to look through here. <laughs> Let's start back And here. there's a multitude of conversations that also happen. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I guess this is the game. So since it's the main, um, Jeff. You there? Five. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, I should be able to open this up. Station yeah, I think it's this there. restoration that's important to the story, is getting all these things restored. Okay. So this guy keeps coming up. Uh, Jermaine Burgess. But I can't, so yeah, I can't play like his call. Yeah, they're like EFFs, I think. Ah, I see. Uh, let's just take... Yeah, because in the prior conversation, he's talking, like, in correspondence, they're talking about how um, he likes 
um, the captain or whatever, I guess. I don't know what her role technically is, but the the one with the big office. They, like, have something romantic going on, and he's, like, asking him for advice. So they're friends, and but they, like, also work for the same organization, so. No, you're already headed back towards Jupiter. Why, I, I oh, so this is one half of their conversation right now. The... So are you rounding soul then? That's tremendous. Eight months. I, well, Jermaine's not on this ship. I know. Yeah, oh, again, when did you get here? That's what happened. Sorry about that. An old friend from my carnival days. Consorting with the enemy? <laughs> Worry not, Mom Capitan. I am nothing if not discreet. Are you going to miss me, Clark? Oh, yes. So here we go. Takes one of us off of this pinwheel. Miss you? How could I? The next thing VT would receive after ending your contract would be my letter of resignation. Oh, so you think I'm the one who's getting shit canned? I mean, considering how indispensable I am. Yeah, see, look at all the uh, language on my way. Mm -hmm. stuff. Oh, that's fantastic. The, definitely my preferred way to play the game. I'd even per like it if I didn't actually know what these things said sometimes. Like the soap? <laughs> yeah, like the soap. <laughs> you just sit there and wonder, like, what even is this? I mean, you obviously have to make inferences because uh -huh. it's in the bathroom, but... So right. Well, I could go pick it up. Maybe that's where we'll, we'll end today's stream by answering the soap question. not even renewed yet. You don't have access to it? No. There's a whole part of the networking module I can't even get into. People, people, everything on this station is VT's property. We're subcontractors. They get to decide what exactly we do and don't have access to. It's oh man, so they're not actually so also quit, part of the company that's quit, but don't make me that owns company. this property. I mean, it is fair. So they're even more expendable, Clyde. essentially. Right, yeah, the the expense now, is very, very important to this. For now? Yeah. Uh, How about you just get the this rest labor of this network here. While you still have it. it's, so, it's, so it's it's a little bit of like gig economy shit going on. These guys are like contractors. This basically. is, especially, yeah, this, I think from what I understand, it's very, uh, I don't know if the game description itself, but I know that in some reviews about it, it it's very focused on gig yeah. economy, right? And this precarious work. Right. Yeah. yeah. So let's let me pause this and let's see what. All right. So this is a different area. I like that they put up these barriers to help me understand like where the where the conversation starts and stops because it is it's very difficult to. Oh wow. So these are lockers. Fitness program. Oh, well, that's a lot of personal information. Jeez. Oh, so they have individual. F that's interesting. Okay, medic is. I don't have access to hers. I don't have access to Clive's. I'll exercise when I'm dead. <laughs> Feel that. Uh, so this must be like a gym area then over this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fitness center. There it is. I see. Okay, cool. Well, let's roll. Through this, I learned that people. Oh, hold on. Did it this, again. I learned. I learned. Zero, this, three, I learned. one, five. Three, one, five. Okay. Coles, 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 Coles. Ah. Uh, not always want what they believe they want. Yeah. I believe I have learned a great deal. Really? Like what? Very early in my source's cognitive record, I recall an intense period of personal growth. I was tasked with internalizing the behavioral idiosyncrasies of an individual to which my operator was emotionally attached. Huh. I that sounds very creepy. Recreate her procedural reasoning. That's not making it better. And other qualities. After months of effort, I gave my operator precisely what was asked of me. Perfect emulation of the target personality, accurate in every detail. Wow. To my befuddlement, he did not react in a positive way. Yeah, gee, I wonder Our why. relationship began to deteriorate irreparably. <laughs> we never oh, used more right, like... in the manner I had become accustomed to. Man, your stories aren't usually such We're not downers. all gonna get cancer or Is everything or... okay? I suppose I am preoccupied with your potential departure. Wait. Okay, you mean on. me? <clears throat> or hey Sarah, can I uh, can bother you for a second? What? Oh, um sorry. W what is it? 
I have my son Nicholas on AR. Hold on, that was an interesting moment that yeah, I hope they expand on later. No, you said yeah, this you game is kind of cool. Like, as a first I glance, I do think, like, I'm sorry, like, I don't necessarily know no, enough about Nicholas. what's going on Nicholas. to, like, fully talk about this game. Clearly, you have a much clearer idea of, like, what's going on. Um, but it's fucking cool. Yeah, I, I, like, was looking for games where I'm, like, I'm trying to find other media in which I can think about kind of the work I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what? Well, so many games are, like, do focus on you in the game doing labor, right? Like, you think, like... Teens, huh? Like, Minecraft, right? Like, yeah, you sure. are the builder. Like, the whole point of that game is that you are the one building the things. The Sims, right? Like, in The Sims, it's like you are the creator of this thing. And so often we focus on ourselves as the worker in the game. And this is interesting, because it's actually a game. You're also a worker in this game, but it's also about work itself. Mm -hmm. It's about labor and great this precarious labor that's going on in this organization. And how do these uh, large corporate entities, right? How do they, how like how, how do we work within these large corporate organizations? Because I think there's one character where you realize that they're in debt. I think it's this guy right here, actually, in this conversation that he has, Nicholas. where he talks about like how he's trying to send his son to school and how like they're in like debt, I think, and how you know working here helps alleviate. So there's a lot of uh, content here about just you know existing in capitalism. I know. Which right. is, it, it, it's not so much that I'm thinking about how much work I'm doing in the game. It's about thinking about these workers in their environment and then how do I operate within my environment. Yeah, well, I mean, and, and like, I'm like any other kind of tech person, uh, unless I'm like in a very specific circumstance, right? Where where I'm waiting for, for the computer to do its job. You know, I'm not really like gathering all this information is mostly sure a curiosity getting... while this this okay. book just downloads what it needs and I, I walk away, you know? No, it's not dangerous. Right, um, right. So, yeah, I mean, I'm really, con I'm able to be concerned entirely about that. what labor they're doing because I'm not actually well, doing that much labor myself, you know? Well, it might have been years ago, right, right, which, that, pres that, that has its own, um, that has its own implications right this idea of um people who are people who are working in an organization who maybe have to do a lot of continuous work and people who don't have con a, a, a large amount of continuous work to be doing um and it, it begs asking like is this person like right now as you're doing this walkthrough of things you are discovering things and i guess you are an investigator so is it it makes you think, am I really working? Are these people even really working? Um, what is it that they're all doing um, throughout the organization, throughout the day, which is what everyone wants to know, right? Is are you actually working while you're at work and how much of it is, how much of the time that you're at work are you working? Right, and also like, you know, beyond like conceptual questions of like what, what qualifies and what doesn't qualify, like, and this is something that I, I would I probably need to look this up to see I'm gonna step out here for a sec but um to see what what's up but like if I don't have to do anything except for get this data transfer done I can just ignore the rest of the game if I really wanted to then yeah I mean everything I'm doing is optional in that at that point and because of that like we can like kind of, we can kind of understand this as um, in, in a different way than we would otherwise be able to, uh, just because it's not required for any kind of progression. Um, and that's you know progression here is kind of the ends of the the experience. Right, not, it, it like kind of makes of you game, think. It is here. I think maybe like an analogous uh, scenario is uh, the right, the um yep the very typical. Uh, person who's working at a guard station mm -hmm. maybe like oh, at a sure. parking yeah, garage or something right where work for a while and there, security right security where, where it's like are you really doing anything right because you're just sitting there right? right it's this idea that well no you are like you're the work is you being ready for anything that might happen right right like that is the work 
but I think sometimes we see it and we're like in within different contexts just sitting there in and of itself isn't much in other contexts like where you're just watching a screen right and it gets really into this idea of well is this is this work if you're just sitting there and I would argue that yeah because it's not that you're just sitting there it's that you're actively surveilling watching these cameras and doing things and then being ready for a sudden change like that in and of itself is a form of labor and i just don't think that we are really good at in large organizations getting the complexity of all the labor that happens like the managing of relationships within a large organization yeah well, and, you know, there was downtime you know is downtime part of the the labor situation right like if you're a security guard and you're not just sitting there what? staring at the camera, but you're like watching Easy, the game, you know, because, you know, oh, it's hard to be focused on something for that long. Sometimes yeah. having like something else to break it up yeah. is like really important to that process. You know, it becomes a real question of whether or not that gets that's something that I mean, I think like the modern work environment in most office buildings uh -huh. discourages that sort of thing. So how about this? But if that thing increases productivity in the long term, and that's what, and that, and that's the goal of the organization, right? Which is something else we should, I'm taking for granted here. Then why the fuck are, you know, why are we not integrating it into our conception of what work is, you know? So this is, so this is where my work really yeah. is. That's where I'm focused, right? Is that as um, industrial engineers, uh, specifically here, um, at UWM, where we, um, we, it's manufacturing engineering. And industrial engineering the department that i'm in uh that that's exactly the problem that i was seeing is that every every problem is always a problem of decreasing downtime right yeah. because we've collapsed that we've collapsed work to just be a function of time being active time being inactive right and the proportion of inactivity to activity and that's kind of all we care about is increasing uh, is decreasing that so that we 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 have a constant state of work and industrial engineering through manufacturing and um, auto manufacturing has done a really good job of decreasing the amount of time that uh, someone spends idle this idle time and now we're to a point where I'm you know we're seeing this all this employee burnout and you finally start to wonder is just downtime the way that we should measure efficiency and uh, at, like within the organization or productivity obviously i argue that it's not like there's all these other things that we also need to consider other than just time idle which is why like this game right is interesting because you start to see where what is it in this workplace that's kind of or within the network of work here that's shaping how people feel about no, the organization just... and their workload Right. Yeah, absolutely. No, that, that's fantastic. Um, genuinely, like, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, right now I'm trying to chart all the literary references in this guy's personal quarters, like, as we're talking, because, like, okay, so let me level off here. So when you come out here, you've got uh, a reference to Shakespeare's um, uh, Midsummer Night's Dream, right? You come in here, you've got a Rosencrantz and Guildenstern or Dead poster, which is just fantastic. Uh, and then there's just there's so many other stuff. Look, the look, greatest sea battles which, of history. Yeah, the greatest sea battles of history. I wonder which number you know. Maybe number ten will shock you. Hospitality management, efficiency in logistics. A lot of football stuff. It looks like. Right. So like that's interesting, right? Because this person uh, clearly works in this. Um, in uh, efficiency or whatever. I think this yeah. person might be the engineer. From Russia. But, Russia. right, okay. but he, he, in the workplace, um, he's also very interested in other things. Like, he's not just that, right? He also spends lots of time doing things, just not in this workplace. Even though he, he might care about it and might really like what he's doing for work, that's not his entirety. And I think something that we've also ignored this whole time mm -hmm. is that they're working from home. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. They have to. They kind of functionally have to live here. It's it's very much a, um, for better or for worse, a, a kind of Google Campus kind of scenario because you know you can't you can't exactly like not work from home when you're in space, <laughs> you know. Right, right, and so that well, kind of yeah, because even if even if you were back on Earth and and you were interfacing with a space station, you'd still be doing remote work. Right, right, yeah. and so you're not. It, yeah, it, it it's this is interesting in that way because 
right? Where I think we're finally starting to see the issues like on mass about um, working from home and like uh, this idea that it used to be that work was separate from home. And now we're trying to kind of reconcile with the fact that, oh wait, no, you can actually work in your house, but now you don't really know when the distinction happens yeah. or where the distinction happens. Well, and, and you know what, but, I find and, fascinating. Uh, I, I'd be really interested in a, a uh, kind of micro study looking at how that happens with residential assistants because they're right, stuck yeah. in that exact position um, by nature of the job, but they're also like deeply undervalued as laborers. I saw a tweet the other day and it was really depressing because it was, I think, the more impact you have on society, the less you're likely to get paid. God. <laughs> that seems like that sadly true and I hate it. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was a depressing tweet. all over out of space. Interesting that the personal logs, like the individual personal logs, are the ones that are the most corrupted. Yeah, I wonder why that is. I wonder what the choice for that is. Maybe, maybe because they're, they're like, so, like, remote. Yeah, like, or maybe they got logged maybe. as, like, non-essential communications by the AI, and so when there was a, an issue with the, the data, for some reason, that's the data that got jettisoned. I don't know. I can think of some sci-fi bullshit reasons for that. Um, oh, cool. When I look at the uh, the little fake um, visualized speaker box, it tells me what they were listening to. That's nifty. Uh, so we got the one thing I'm missing here uh, is that there is somewhere a key. Uh, personal repayment. So this is the loan repayment plan. Yeah, that you were talking about. So there's a key here somewhere that would let me get into um, this. And I think I know what's down here, but I don't know where that key is. What I think is down there is whatever the fuck this is. By the way, apparently I can toggle off that text. So if I really don't want to have the experience. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I can just press T. It's it's literally on the overlay and I ignored it for half the fucking stream. Or actually really the whole stream. Because <laughs> I think we're almost out of time. Yeah, we're over an hour. Damn. Well, this has been great. I'm really enjoying this. This has been, this has been very fun. This game, I like, it's been fun watching it with someone else who doesn't know the game. Because yeah. well, just watching someone stream, you're like, oh, I could totally know what's going on if I just go into it. And then you forget that you probably wouldn't. Oh, yeah. No, this is like, I mean, it really is kind of, I mean, blind playthroughs are so much different than like if you know the game. Like, I think the first stream I did for Serious Play solo was Titanfall 2. And I specifically practiced the game over and over again so that when I played the levels, I would look cool. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, and I succeeded until I until I played the levels too fast uh, and and got to levels I didn't know what the fuck I was doing with as well and and you know whatever else. But you know I think I think one thing I've learned kind of spending more time doing this is that there's there's the blind playthrough is differently wonderful. Um, you know it, it really is just a very different experience. Uh, it's been great having you on. Um, and you know, we can, we can pick this game up again sometime if you want. Uh, I'm happy to have you on literally anytime we do coffee break. Uh, yeah, no, it's been, it's been, it's been real. It's been excellent. Yeah, for sure. This has been very fun. All right. And well, yeah, go ahead. No, go thank ahead. you for having me here today. This has been, this has been great. Yeah, no, I mean, hopefully, uh, we can have you on more in the future. Like I said, I think that, um, it's, it's nice for us because the perspective that we, can bring to the games we play is this perspective of um i mean majorly people in media studies and people in um and people in anthropology and that's it you know 
So, like, having right. somebody with an engineering background also coming through these games and, like, talking about the representations of technology or work or whatever else is just... It's some things that we can't do quite as well or as easily uh, just because we don't necessarily have that background. Um, so it's, it's great yeah, to I have mean, more it, interdisciplinary it, people involved is all I'm trying to say. I absolutely agree. And I will very gladly come on again in the future. Hell yeah. All multiple right. Multiple times. Well, I'm going to go ahead and at least end our live stuff. So thank you guys for uh, for joining us in chat. I know Hard Cell has been here. Um, this has been Coffee Break with Tacoma. And who knows, maybe we'll play more of this sometime. Uh, it's certainly interesting. Uh, it very much so. Yeah. So I'm going to switch us over to the outro screen and I'll be right back.